Mm hmm. That's right. You see the title. Priscilla owes Subaru a reward. Winky face. I believe this is some stuff that was cut out of the canon episode and may have to do with Subaru saving Priscilla from dumb, dumber, and dumbest. Today's video is going to cover something very interesting, which was in arc 3 of the light novel, but was actually removed for the season 1 anime. And it involves an interaction between Priscilla and Subaru. Of course, many of you will remember in season 1 when Amelia and Subaru go to the royal capital. This is actually where we first meet Aldebaran, Priscilla, and even mm -hmm. Julius. Just remember that she could have pulled out the Yang Sword here and ended Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest. But Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest have faced off not only against Reinhard. No, intimidated Reinhard and made Reinhard cower away. Reinhard himself said that if Subaru wasn't here, I don't know if I could have dealt with this, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this happened. Facts over feats over fucking opinions, bro. Uh, what else? Apparently, Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest also encountered one of the strongest, like, Valachian people back in the day and survived. They've also encountered Priscilla and survived. Dumb, Dumber, and Dumbest are low-key... <laughs> Their merits, the people that they've gone against and seen the next day, it's amazing. However, there's an interesting interaction which happens in the alleyway. Of course, this is the alleyway in which Subaru meets Priscilla and the three thugs. And Subaru then, of course, attempts to save her. However, in the Even in this scene, is saying that this world operates in a way that's best suited for me. I think she's right. I think that, like, Subaru is showing up as the fucking Appa boy that we're gonna be using against, you know, Amelia in moments to come. It all happened because Priscilla is just lucky as fuck. Is it a divine protection? Is it a blessing? Keep note that when Subaru called for a carrot, Priscilla showed up, like, immediately in the anime. Some people say that uh, there was actually a... I forget. Uh, I, for I, I forget someone telling me some source material stuff of how... In the anime, it seemed like Super called for a carriage and immediately some showed up. But uh, it, it kind of like hints more at Priscilla's quote-unquote luck passive. What's going on? To save her. However, in the anime, this is cut down significantly with Amelia and Aldebaran showing up pretty quickly. However, in the light novel, it's totally different in which Priscilla is really infatuated with Subaru's appas. And as you remember, Appa's bad. Forbidden Appa theory. Priscilla is also one of the few people that's actually ate Appa on an episode. The Subaru bought 10 Appas from yep. Cadman and he had them with him. And you can remember that Priscilla asked what they were because to her, Appas were white rather than red. <laughs> so rich. In the rich. light novel, Priscilla actually has a bet with Subaru and they were going to play what? The bet is if Appas really are white flesh, then I'll let you touch my booba? Rock, paper, scissors over what is the that? 10 Appas that Subaru possessed. Oh, they played rock, paper, scissors for the Appas. And I'm gonna guess she won every one of them. And the winner would get an Appa. And in return, if Subaru wins, he would be allowed to fondle Priscilla's breasts. Never mind, I guess then Subaru won. And no, I'm not making this up. This is actually in the light novel. I'll show you on screen right now. So, of course, Subaru and Al- The girl touched her tongue to her lips as she sank into thought. She shifted her bewitching eyes towards Subaru, lifting up her ample bosom. <laughs> Lore accurate, the biggest bosom of every bosom in the show, with her crossed arm. Should you win the wager, you may touch my breast, how about it? And I guess he actually won the rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors... If you kind of ignore the reaction speed and the mind games involved in it, it is an RNG game. Priscilla is supposed to be the most luckiest person. Everything just works out in her favor, yet she lost to Subaru? Alpha character, he agrees. And as you can imagine, Subaru plays rock, paper, scissors with Priscilla, and he loses seven times out of ten. Okay. And of course... Oh, little Priscilla, what the... That's, that's a cute design. Of course, he's losing hope. However, he plays two more games and he loses another two times, so he only has one Appa left. And, of course, they do an all or nothing bet. So essentially, whoever wins the last Appa I wins see. everything else. And Subaru, of course, goes in for the rock-paper-scissors match again, but this time he cheats. 
he mm -hmm. instead of saying rock paper or scissors he just uses a combination of all three at the same time and he says it's like an ultimate technique of course priscilla doesn't really know better and she actually accepts that she lost what so basically rock paper scissors but he went like rock scissors paper and then he kind of shifted it into some bullshit way and priscilla just accepted the loss because i thought it's funny so again i thought that um maybe this rock paper scissors is trying to tell us the whole lucky thing with priscilla she did win nine times out of ten and even the tenth one super like cheated and priscilla kind of just all right, whatever, you, you can take this one. So it's, it's very interesting. Winning nine in a row is kind of crazy. And she gives Subaru all 10 of the Appas. And of course, she states that Subaru won, therefore he has a right to fondle her. <laughs> and of course, as Subaru starts to man up and Priscilla actually berates him and tells him to act more like a- Do not tell me that now it is time to feel my breast. You have lost your nerve, huh? I see something what you're talking about. Who? <laughs> Wait, do not tell me now it is. Is she saying do it now? Are you pussing out? The line here, do not tell me that now it is time to feel my breast. You've lost your nerve. Oh no, he's saying like, can I touch it now? And Priscilla's saying, you fucking dog. Not now. There's a time and place for everything. Starts to man up and Priscilla actually berates him and tells him to act more like a man. He actually goes in to touch her breasts. But as you oh. can imagine, that's when they get interrupted. No, 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 no. It sounds like she was taunting him to touch it. And you, you, should, you, be, you should be a man. The comprehension here. Do not tell me that now it is time to feel my breast. You have lost your nerve. That reads really awkwardly. The interpretation here does not sound like she's calling out Subaru as being a man or not a man. That's when they get interrupted. And of course, nothing ever comes out of it and of course later on when priscilla meets subaru again priscilla has actually forgotten who subaru is so of course yeah she completely forgot in season three and this is like you know cut content so it'll probably never happen and nowhere has it ever been mentioned and if subaru actually fondled priscilla's breasts i think a lot of people would be kind of upset at subaru's like characterization as he's come this far for amelia then out of nowhere he just like gropes priscilla's breast maybe there can be a moment where subaru like saves priscilla i don't know Pris Subaru like priscilla falls and subaru catches her and there can be a cliche you know groping moment and then we can do a little bit of a callback of like okay this is the one for you back in the royal kingdom but that's supposed to imply that Priscilla even remembers that shit, which she doesn't, so wah wah. This plot thread uh, never actually goes anywhere, but I do think it's a funny interaction, which was cut out of the anime, and yeah. it sort of gives another dimension to Priscilla, and that she is kind of naive in some ways. Yeah, I think that um, she is definitely super, super intelligent, but due to being like sheltered, the whole Appa stuff, she's so rich that she never even knew what, you know, the flesh color really was, stuff like that. The whole fondling of the breast thing. <sighs> I mean, she does have lower accurate, the most biggest breast. I think anyone would go for it, but at this point, it's a bit too late for that. Please go give Mr. Jake a like on the video. Here's the link. Copy. Paste. I'll see you guys next time.